afternoon. So I'll give you a quick behind the scenes look at what we're doing this evening for the Bring a Bottle live stream. So this idea seems to have got legs very rapidly with a lot of people being interested. So I thought I'd better do a proper job of it. I got the proper video gear out that I use for events. Got it set up and I said I'll just give you a run through of what we got going on here. So we've got the heart of the system is the 8M Mini Extreme ISO. So that will be controlling everything tonight. And there's our multi view. So the multi view is controlled by the extreme. I can change what's on screen and things like that via the just pressing a button on there. So this is the multi view, and what you see on the screen is what will be going out anything in program there is what will be being streamed out to YouTube. Uh, that's all being handled directly by the ATM, the streaming and encoding and everything so I don't have to worry about that. Under the desk there's two computers. The one on the left has this screen, that one and that one on it as well as a virtual screen which is that green one there labelled Chroma. What that lets me do is use a bit of software called H2O Graphics to put things on the screen. So for instance, if I show the ticker on the bottom of program, you'll see that we've just started a ticker running there, which shows the beers we got coming up in future um, live streams. We've got the GoPro, which is my main camera. Zoom, which is on the second PC. At the moment, that's just a static image because I haven't got a Zoom call active. And the second PC has got this screen on it and two virtual screens. One for Zoom and one for the starting soon screen. So it's been run basically from two PCs in the ATEM. Uh, we've also got the Stream Deck, which gives me extra buttons to let me set up things to do, like for instance, this, where we've got me, what's on my presentation screen, and a Zoom caller all on the screen at once. Simple button presses to switch between different views. Um, over here, H2O Graphics, as I mentioned, also got the YouTube uh, studio up, just so I can check what's going on, make sure there's no issues, um, and can moderate chat if needed. H2O Graphics also lets me do things with the chat. So if I just turn off the ticker, in chat there's a message from me saying hello i can make that come up on the bottom of the screen there obviously you won't be seeing the audio meters on the live stream they're just for me to make sure that the mic isn't too hot or anything but yeah so tonight we'll be able to get people to join in give us their ideas on the beer what they're tasting and we can talk about it me and richard on zoom tonight at any time I can pull what's on that screen or what's on that screen straight into the stream. Or just go straight back to me. So it's a nice system. Over here doing the audio at the moment. Ignore the light. Uh, don't need that on to do this bit. Uh, we've got a multi-com compressor, expander gate, limiter, etc. That's for the Zoom. DBX286S is a mic preamp processor which is being used for my mic, which is the Aston Stealth. And the Focusrite 18i20 Gen 1, which is doing all getting audio into and out of computers 
it's doing the mix, uh, what they call a mix minus, so that what I send back out over Zoom to whoever's calling in doesn't contain the audio that they're actually saying. What I hear doesn't contain the audio I'm saying, but what's going out over the stream contains both what Zoom caller and me is saying. Because it gets very hard to talk if you're hearing yourself half a second or a second after you say it. So that's the audio setup at the moment. That may change. I may get the mixer out for the next one because it's a lot easier to quickly change mixer levels if you've got a physical fader uh, rather than having to go into a software control and change settings on just one mix or another. If worst comes to worst, I've got my mic and zoom on dials on the front, so I can quickly adjust the level of those if I need to. Um, but that adjusts it across all mixes and not just what's going to zoom or just what's going to the stream. So there you have it. That's behind the scenes ready for tonight. All you need other than all that is to know how to judge beer. So, hopefully, I'll see some of you later. And don't forget to bring a bottle.